Hello, my name is Bart Witte and I'm a urologist from Isla Clinic in Zwolle, the Netherlands. And I'm thankful to the ICS for the opportunity to present our work on the ICS 2020 online platform. We have studied if obstructive sleep apnea is to blame in patients with nocturnal polyuria. I have no conflicts of interest with respect to the subject of my presentation. Of all patients with low urinary tract symptoms, a big part suffers from nocturia. Nocturia can have many causes, and urologists should think of other causes besides bladder storage problems. A part of patients with nocturia have excessive urine production during nighttime. If this volume exceeds one third of the total voided volume of 24 hours, they have nocturnal polyuria. Nocturnal polyuria is linked to obstructive sleep apnea, as these patients might benefit from treatment with continuous positive air pressure, or CPAP, as an earlier study has shown. In this study, we have examined which part of patients with nocturnal polyuria suffer from obstructive sleep apnea, and what the effect is of CPAP on episodes of nocturia and the nocturnal polyuria index. We have set up a prospective single arm study in which we enrolled patients with lower urinary tract symptoms and nocturnal polyuria. Patients were recruited on the outpatient clinic of a large non-academic teaching hospital in the Netherlands between February 20, 2019 and September 2019. We have excluded patients with specific comorbidities such as diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, heart failure, neurologic disorders, and specific co-medication. All patients receive the polygraphy to detect obstructive sleep apnea. The patients with sleep apnea were offered an eight-week treatment with CPAP. Three-day voiding diaries were recorded before and after treatment. Polygraphy. Patients were mostly female in their sixth decade with overweight. They voided almost half of their 24 hours urine production during the nighttime, and they did that in four episodes of nocturia. The severity of sleep apnea was evenly distributed among classes from mild to severe. After an eight week treatment with CPAP, the number of rest stops decreased from almost 25 to 3.9 per hour. Episodes of nocturia decreased from 3.7 to 1.9 per night. And the percentage of nightly voidic volume, or the nocturnal polyuria index, decreased from 47 to 32%. In this single arm prospective study, we have seen that sleep apnea is highly prevalent among patients with nocturnal polyuria. Treatment with CPAP significantly reduces breath stops the nocturnal polyuria index and nocturia. So we encourage urologists to refer patients with nocturnal polyuria to the pulmonologist to exclude sleep apnea. However, larger controlled studies are needed to better estimate the prevalence and the treatment of sleep apnea in patients with nocturnal polyuria. Thank you for your attention.